Welcome everybody out to our race today where we have group 2 fighting for their qualifying positions in our Lego vs Goody tournament. Today's group consists of cars made by Goody or Goody or Goody, however you'd like to pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to pronounce it Goody. Here are the results from qualifying group 1. On top we have Serena and Kendall tied for first, followed by Blaze and Sophia. Once group 2 completes their round robin, we'll settle any tiebreakers in order to finalize the seating for our tournament. Our first race of the day we have Miles vs John. Miles drives the Ghost GT, a speed racer from Goody. Meanwhile John drives the Knight GT, also a speed racer. Let's hope they can live up to their names. And we start the day with a double DNF. John looks like he tries to cut off Miles but ends up pinning them both against the wall. Let's see if either of them can get points on the board this race. John takes the win and the two points while Miles gets caught up on the wall again and gets another DNF for the second time in a row. Our next race we have Roy vs Peter. Roy drives the yellow Hurricane GT from Goody, while Peter comes driving in the baby blue Tempo GT. Roy comes out on top by just about 4 car lengths. Looks like it was pretty close coming around the turn but Peter loses traction just a bit and that's enough to give Roy the win. Roy gets 2 points for that win and Peter gets 1 for the finish. It's a double DNF for Roy and Peter as Peter pins Roy against the wall. Next up we have Miles vs Roy. Roy gets the 2 points and the win and Miles avoids a fender bender and decides to stop right in front of the finish line. A close race there, Roy gets a small boost from Miles for the win, but Miles still gets a point for finishing. Our next race of the day is John vs Peter. John takes the easy victory as Peter loses control around the corner. Another double DNF for the day as John completely walls off Peter. To start off our last round of our normal round robin we have Miles vs Peter. Both racers barely creep past the finish line. Miles comes away with two points and the win. Peter comes away with only one. Another close race between these two, this time Peter coming away with the win and Miles coming in right behind him. To end the round we have John vs Roy. John takes the win on that one while Roy does not finish. John spins out on the final stretch allowing Roy to take the two points. Let's take a look at our qualifying rankings. We have three ties, one tie for first place, a tie for fourth, and also a three-way tie for sixth. And that means we have a qualifying tiebreaker round. The rules are simple. Each tie will have its own round robin with the existing point system. First up, we have Sophia versus Miles. Sophia takes the easy win and two points while Miles gets stuck on the turn. Uh -huh. 
Another win for Sophia, while Miles gets his first point on the board. Next up, Miles and Peter meet on the track for the second time today. Another double DNF from the Goody group. I'm starting to think they've never raced before. Peter takes the two points in the win in this race, followed by Miles, who didn't seem very happy about it. Our next race is Sophia versus Peter. If Sophia can get a win here, she will secure the sixth spot in our tournament. Another easy win for Sophia. Let's hope these goody racers can put up more of a fight once the real tournament starts. Sophia gets a clean sweep of the tiebreaker round, securing the sixth seed in our tournament. Miles and Peter both finish with two points and they'll need to race again for the seventh spot. Miles just barely gets past the finish line with a friendly bump from Peter. It really seems like these guys are trying not to pass the finish line. And there you have it. Miles takes a 7th seed with yet another double DNF. Hopefully a much more exciting matchup for you. We have Blaze versus John fighting for the 4th seed. Blaze looked like he was on fire and left John deep in his smoke. Yet another easy win for the LEGO group. It's not looking good for the Goody team in this upcoming tournament. Now the last race of the day, the race that we've all been waiting for, it is a tiebreaker between Serena and Kendall. Both cars fly down the track. Kendall gets huge air and loses a bumper, but Serena comes out with the win. I wouldn't be surprised if these two meet again in the finals. Oh, and we have a nasty wreck coming down the final stretch. Let's take a look at some of these replays to see if we can get a better view of that wreck. Kendall is on his roof. Since neither car finished, Serena looks like she takes the win and will be the number one rank going into the tournament. And here are the final tournament rankings coming from the qualifying rounds. As well as our round one tournament matchups coming next time on the LEGO Racer. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.